Hi, this is Bob from Global Technologies. What I'd like to do today is talk about one of our specific products and how it relates and is compatible with certain Thunderbolt 3 systems. Specifically, I want to talk about the product you see on my screen here, the pluggable Thunderbolt 3 dual display HDMI adapter for Mac and Windows. Now, what this product is, is a simple adapter that connects to a Thunderbolt 3 port in a laptop or desktop and can potentially provide two video outputs, in this case, two HDMI video outputs. Now, I say potentially, I say this because manufacturers have discretion when designing their Thunderbolt 3 systems. How many displays are supported via a single Thunderbolt 3 port in the host? Now, let me break that down again. Thunderbolt 3, as a technology specification, can support up to two 4K displays. But what's not always obvious is, is that support is optional. Not every system that has Thunderbolt 3 can drive two displays via a Thunderbolt 3 port. For example, some systems like Apple and Dell systems they tend to always support two displays via Thunderbolt 3, but implementation from other manufacturers such as Asus, HP, or MSI tends to vary. So what does this mean in a practical sense? If this adapter is connected to a system that supports two displays via Thunderbolt 3 port, both of these video outputs will work. If it's connected to a system that only has support for one display via Thunderbolt 3, only one of these outputs will work. This unfortunately is an internal limitation of the host system and cannot be changed. Now, if this is a potential limitation, how do you determine whether or not a system supports one or two displays via Thunderbolt 3? Well, the difficulty here is that this information is not always readily accessible. In fact, it's often quite hard to find if you can find it at all. As an example, let's take a look. I have up here the Dell product page for their latest Dell XPS 13 laptop. The Dell XPS 13 model was one of the first to have Thunderbolt 3 support, and this is their latest and greatest model. If you scroll down through the whole product page and look through it, it doesn't really tell you any level of detail about what number of displays are supported via the Thunderbolt 3 port. If you even get down to the point where it shows you details specifically about the ports in the system down here, it talks about it has two Thunderbolt 3 ports and even something called four lanes of PCI Express Gen 3 which we'll talk about in another video, but it doesn't say how many displays are supported. All right, well, what about the manual? Well, if we look at the manual for this model laptop, I've got it up here already, and look at the description of the laptop, it talks about the two Thunderbolt 3 ports. But again, it doesn't say whether or not two displays are supported via the port. It says that one display can be supported by the port, since there's two ports, it re repeats this information. But it doesn't say anything about two. All right, well, we know it works because we have one and we've tested it, but why does that work? What it comes down to is internally, Dell has routed two DisplayPort video lanes from the internal graphics adapter within the system to these two ports because they've had that routing done it supports two displays. Either port can support two, or each port can support one. Can't go more than a total of two, but that's the way it works, and great, and it works with our adapter. But let's look at another system where it's not going to work. For example, what I have here, I've brought up, Intel makes their own desktop systems called the Nooks, next unit of computing. They make a lot of different versions, and they just recently introduced the latest version of the product, their Nook 10 series, also referred to as Frost Canyon, if I'm not mistaken. And if I look at the 
technical details for that specific product. Intel's actually gone ahead and included a block diagram of all the internal components and how they're routed together. Now, there's a lot going on here, but what we can see is if we look up here, is that there's two DisplayPort video lanes designated here as DP 1.2 and DP 1.2. One of these lanes is routed to the internal Titan Ridge chipset, which is the Thunderbolt 3 host controller in the system, and it goes out via the rear Thunderbolt 3 port. The other DisplayPort video lane is routed through a DisplayPort to HDMI converter and then the rear HDMI port of the unit. What that means is the Thunderbolt 3 port in this Intel product will only support one display. It cannot support two. So if we were to connect our dual Thunderbolt 3 adapter to this specific nook, only one display would work. Now again, the adapter's working fine, the reason it's not working to its fullest extent is an internal limitation on the host system. Now, if you even go through the rest of this technical um, specification document, it doesn't call out specifically one or two displays. It talks about multiple displays and different orientations, but it doesn't answer this specific question. So it can be confusing. Fortunately, at least in Intel's case, they've actually put up a support page that speaks to this very issue and talks about how many displays are supported via a Thunderbolt 3 port in an Intel Nook that has Thunderbolt 3 when using a dual display adapter, such as the adapter I just referenced. You can see that for these latest Nook models that I just referred to, it will only support one. Previous generation, it will support one. These two Nook models, which are very high-end um, Nook systems, are the rare exception that will support two via a single Thunderbolt 3 port, and all the previous ones all support one. They give an example of such an adapter, and believe it or not, they actually show pluggables. Thunderbolt 3 dual display adapter in this instance. So what does all this mean? Again, simply, just because a system has Thunderbolt 3 doesn't mean that it can support two displays via a single Thunderbolt 3 port. On Windows systems, it's optional to support two displays. Some will, dis will support two, some will only support one. Finding that information is difficult, even with very well-known brands such as Dell and Intel. You can find it if you dig to a certain extent, but it's not always clear and obvious. So before purchasing a Thunderbolt 3 system or purchasing our Thunderbolt 3 dual display adapter, it's suggested to always try and do as much research as possible about what the system supports before committing to a large purchase. We do our best to maintain compatibility tables on our product page, and we'll do our best to help if customers ask us questions but the best resource is always the manufacturer themselves. So hopefully you find all that information useful, and thank you for watching.